on the crime watch tonight, Monterey County Sheriff's deputies are looking for the people involved in an illegal cockfighting ring that took place in Las Lomas or the Las Lomas area over uh, on Sunday. More than 30 roosters were abandoned at the scene, several found dead. Action News reporter Bianca Beltran joins us with details. Well, Aaron, the sheriff's office received a tip about a rooster fighting event in that area, and it was the sound of a shotgun blast that helped them find it. Now, with clues left behind at the scene, the sheriff's deputies are working to find those responsible. Close contact with <laughs> the Monterey County SPCA is overwhelmed with roosters that were abandoned at the site of an illegal cockfighting event in Las Lomas on Sunday. Five roosters were found dead. A few others had to be euthanized because their injuries were so severe. Over 30 more are being held in the SPCA barn, but Stacy says there's not much hope for them now. The people who own these animals are very motivated to have winning animals. They inject their animals with um, different substances like um, vitamins or vitamin B or steroids, and then a host of other antibiotics or other medications that I'm not even sure what they put in these poor animals. Um, unfortunately, the animals are so aggressive and are, and are so toxic that we're unable to rehome them. In 2014, the Monterey County Supervisors passed an ordinance requiring a permit to house more than five roosters in an attempt to curb these incidents. But enforcement of that rule just went into effect this year. We have a grace period and uh, at this point I think we only have about three permits out there and no one's actually been cited for it yet because the grace period ran through the end of 2015. So we are now actively engaged in enforcing the ordinance. More than 50 people fled on foot when sheriff's deputies found the location of the cockfight. They were unable to make any arrests on Sunday, but the agencies involved are looking for other ways to catch the culprits. We definitely have some investigative leads that we are working on if we can tie the suspects to the case. We've also looked at putting in game cameras at places where we know people are illegally fighting animals so that we can capture the suspects on video and then um, put together a criminal case that way. Now, in addition to the roosters and the fighting equipment, vehicles were also left behind at the scene, and sheriff's deputies are hoping to make a case for prosecution against those people matched with those license plates. Aaron. All right, Bianca, thank you. Uh, according to the SBCA, they hear about these kinds of incidents three to four times a year. They say tips from the public are key to finding and prosecuting those responsible.